Ready? Let's do this. Patrico, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Donnie Fandango, are you ready? Let's do this. Donnie Fandango, Week in Rage. You guys know what this is. Donnie heard Middays here on The Point from 10 to 2. You would think he's the nicest guy He is the nicest planet. guy. It's not well, that he's a, he's a mean guy. No, externally. But internally, there's a battle going on. Yeah, I mean, this guy bottles up a lot of rage. And so, out of concern for Donnie's health, and, the, and quite and, frankly, the health and safety yeah, of everybody else safety. who works here, so he doesn't come and blow the place up, we decided to give him his own segment because it seemed like almost every day, like when Donnie would come in and we'd be leaving for the day, he'd be like going off about something. And so now it's just like he could save up all his rage. He takes notes throughout the week and then he's just able to spew all at once. <laughs> that sounded weird. But anyway, he's got his own segment now. It's the Donnie Fandango Week in Rage. And here's what's bugging Donnie this week. All right. First of all, I guarantee you, and you guys can watch the texter, at some point during this rage, the same guy that texts in every week and says the same thing is going to text in and say, man, if I wanted to hear someone bitch this much, I would have stayed home with my old lady. Uh. Thanks, dude. I appreciate your weekly originality douche. Uh, other things. Okay, first of all, Fox Sports Midwest announced that Jack Clark is not going to be on their pregame postgame for the remainder of the season. Hey, Fox Sports, take a listen from a big Cardinal fan, a huge Cardinal fan. Use this as an opportunity to reconfigure that whole pregame, postgame, during game staff. I think everybody but Roboski should honestly be out, but that's just my opinion. Use it. Do it, Fox Sports. Make your product better. I actually heard with my own ears the other day an FM radio DJ say, and I quote, despite the smell of pot, I love seeing Dave Matthews live. <laughs> there are so many things wrong with this short sentence. Despite, and I like how this very same station refers to their jocks as presenters. So uh, really, presenters, thank you very much for making my job oh, how that, smug. That, that much more gay. Okay? Uh, also, uh, I effing hate it. When people sign stuff, L O. O L J K. I don't know why, but I just think it's so stupid and it drives me crazy. When my girl does it, it actually, uh, I can feel it crawling up my back. Why? And this has happened to me before and I hate it. I'm watching a kid walk a kid down the street in the stroller, okay? And at the same time, this guy's trying to cross the street by the station, and because of how he's wearing his pants so that the entire world can see his goddamn underwear, his, his pants start to fall down. <laughs> so he is trying to push the stroller with one and pull his pants up with the other. <laughs> Wear them on your hip. I don't understand it. More than anything else, I don't want to see your underwear, man. I just don't. <laughs> I swear to God, the dog next door to me was put on this planet to haunt me. It yaps and yaps and yaps, and the owner leaves it on a leash connected to the screen door. Thank you, South County. I appreciate it. Some more South County love here. Yesterday, I stopped into Walgreens because I got to grab something on my way home. And there's this girl standing outside of Walgreens. <sighs> Like face beat red, heavy breathing, the whole thing. And you think, well, dude, she was probably just working out. She didn't have workout clothes on at all, man. She was wearing like jeans and a t-shirt and she was sitting on the curb and she was chugging sweet tea from a jug. That looks very different than chugging sweet tea. That little... Wait till you oh, see the video sorry. of that. Uh, yeah, wait till you see the video of that. Well, you know, like, well, you know, like a jug. And you, you, you know. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Sure. Oh, like, like, what are you doing, sitting out on the curb with sweet tea. Was... Yeah, and Donnie, can I make an observation? Sure. 
Why do you keep going to Walgreens? You hate that place. I, I, I do, like, but it's so close. You go for the convenience, doesn't right? It yeah. like, doesn't yeah. it seem like almost every week there's something every week there's that something. involves Walgreens. He's yeah. just a glutton for punishment. What is it about Walgreens? I, I, well, I love that place. Well, first of all, I think it's it, it's not Walgreens itself. They it's got everything. That particular Walgreens, yeah. and sometimes like it's it's this particular time. It wasn't something in the store that bothered me because I've had really gnarly customer service there. But man, there are some strange people that hang out at. That place, man. Which one is it? It's at uh, Jefferson Barracks and Telegraph. Okay. So just, you know, further <laughs> yeah. down the street. But seriously. That's the bad one? Jug of sweet tea, face beat red, heavy breathing. Man, South County is nuts. Uh, also, too. Uh, oh, man, I totally lost my place with where I was at. I got the cross. The fi- Okay, so my girl. Okay? So From his my, notes. Yeah, my this girl. Is the, this, this is the topic, by the way, is, that I was waiting for. My girl is is... One of the reasons that I love Mary so much is because she doesn't really get down with a lot of that catty girl BS. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She's just yeah. she's just real cool that way, you know. And that's one of the one of the reasons that I like her. But she has this one friend <laughs> that she bitches about and bitches about and bitches about. And she starts telling me the other day about how she's making plans in the next couple of weeks to hang out with this bitch. And so I start to get irritated. And I'm thinking to myself, okay. Uh, and I start off, you know, real mellow, baby. Why do you want to hang out with somebody that after it's that after you're done hanging out, you're going to bitch and moan and bitch about what she said and what she wore and who she was hanging out? Why do you want to do that to yourself? Why don't you just not hang out with her? She's not a good friend to you. <laughs> so I start to get revved up as I'm talking, and Mary says to me, "I don't understand why you're getting so mad." You don't understand why I get so mad. I'm the one that's got to listen to you bitch about this chick when you come home. Why do you want to hang out with somebody that you don't like and that doesn't treat you right? And why don't you understand why that would make me mad? So the more that she didn't understand why I was getting mad, the more pissed off I got. So long story short, Dude, she's I'm still so going to hang out with this chick, yeah. but I just told her, can't mention it in the house anymore. <laughs> you just can't. You can't mention hammer. it in the house anymore. And then this one just happens last night, and I find this to be unbelievable, okay? So, so, okay. So, she invites, she asks me, hey, I would like to invite so-and-so over to the house this weekend. Do you mind? And I say, as a matter of fact, yes, I do. I was like, we don't have anything going on this weekend. There's a lot of things we need to do around the house. No, another weekend, and preferably when I'm gone because I'm not a fan of this person that she's inviting over. What does she do? Invites her over. Invites her over! (laughs) I asked. I said, please don't. Like, not even being a dick. Like, just please don't. Why did she even ask you that? That's exactly my point. (laughs) And 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 sometimes women wonder why they drive us crazy. Why even ask me? It would have been much better if I would have just shown up and seen this person and went, all right, well, I'm gonna go up to the room and play Madden. I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Let me know if you're going to get Chinese food, you know? But no. So, again, again, I love her so much. She's great, but she drives me crazy. Oh, oh, and one last thing, and I, and I had to text myself this this morning. I have seen two people in the last two days in South County speed walking and smoking. <laughs> At the same time? At the same time. I saw this girl yesterday because I took the kids out uh, for a walk and uh, and, and, and Ben was, was riding the skateboard. And I see this girl who's... Power walking and smoking. And I'm thinking, you're, young lady, like you're not doing yourself any good. Like, like it, it's just not doing any good. So I don't understand that. The but one with, thing cancels the other thing out. But with all of the criticism, I love you, South County, and that's my weekend rage. Hey, Daddy! There. Donnie, how you feel, buddy? Oh, I feel good. Great work this week. Boy, getting that out about Mary. Cool.